Hello everyone, welcome to another C++ programming uh, tutorial. My name is Tommy and today I will be talking about assertion and what it can do for you. So um, assertion is uh, a method, a way of checking for a particular failure or violation in the code base on the comparison of a particular result against an expected value if the value is not as expected the program will terminate and report the specific line in code that caused the issue um, assertion is normally done for debugging purposes and should be turned off in production code uh, there are two types of assertion in C++ one can assert it during runtime using the assert method and the other assertion which is a static assert can be used during compilation time Note. Uh, if assert statements are in the source code and you do not wish to remove them, all you did, need to do is include uh, define and debug before they include assert statement and it will turn off the assertion so you don't have to remove those statements in code in production. Okay, so if you have uh, Visual Studio code, let's uh, open it up and uh, I will demonstrate how you can write code for assertion in C++ so let's go ahead and create a new folder and let's call this a assertion and then in the folder let's create a new file called assertion.cpp okay okay so let's uh, program the code so I'm gonna go ahead and include uh, assert uh, which allow us to I'm sorry it should be C assert because this is C++ um, so this allow us to use the assert method and um, we're gonna go ahead and include uh, define uh, I'm gonna comment it out but it's the flag to turn off the assertion uh, if you want to turn it off, so define and debug. And if you um, include this line in code, it's going to turn off the assertion. Okay, so the next uh, header I'm going to include is string, of course. Uh, include IO stream for standard input output. Include a vector to create these dynamic arrays and using namespace standard okay the first function I want to create is a uh, to allow us to print numbers um, and I want to assert um, a failure if the, the the actual integer is a null value being passed so print number in star my int okay like that and uh, I'm gonna assert uh, my int star I'm sorry um, exclamation mark equal to null so if it's not e equal to null uh, we're good if it um, has an issue it's gonna bomb out here so star my int end line okay so the the next function I want to create is uh, print string so for example void print string constant string and percent string so notice I pass in the address for string so um, assert exclamation points string empty so there's an empty method in string uh, library so if the string is empty I'm gonna go ahead and assert it and it will abort before um, the standard C out here okay the next one I have is uh, a vector so uh, void print vector um, 
int ampersand v and I want to check to see if the uh, vector is empty and if it um, it's empty I'm gonna go ahead and just abort so assert v empty like that and otherwise I can basically do a count right or um, capacity or count um, or size uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and do a size so here's the size of the vector if uh, the assertion passed so here's the vector size equal to that okay and the next function I want to do is uh, I want to compare uh, vector against vector so I want, if the vector is the same then it will pass otherwise it's gonna fail so here I can do void compare uh, vector vector int n um, percent a vector b okay and here I'm gonna go ahead and do an assert assert standard um, assert I'm sorry equal standard equal a begin um, a n and I'm gonna begin from the beginning okay and I want to make sure that um, you know if it's true then um, you know if the, if it's the same then um, we're okay otherwise we're gonna fail it right okay so let's uh, go in and uh, create our main so I'm gonna declare in main just like so and I'm gonna create uh, a couple variables so int a equal 10 int star b so this is a pointer integer pointer and we're gonna assign b equal ampersand a and we're gonna type in print number and pass in the uh, b pointer okay and notice right now b uh, points to a which contain a value but if we decided to pass in b itself without the assigning of the address of a then I'm pretty sure it's gonna fail so let's uh, do a return zero and uh, let's save this and open up a terminal so open up a terminal and I have a, a directory called assertion that I created and there should be a uh, assertion dot cpp so g++ standard equal to c++ 14 assertion and that's my command to compile the code and if we type in a dot out what do we expect 10 it passes right so let's go back and change the code to make it fail so uh, if I decided to comment out this code this line right here line 35 that you see here I expect a failure right so let's go into back to our terminal and recompile the code and let's do a dot a dot l and it's gonna tell me that the assertion has failed and it tells me the line number and why it failed okay so that's our first uh, check right and if we put this back it's gonna pass okay let's continue on to the next example so here I will uh, do print string hello world okay and currently the print string function uh, checks for empty string so in this case if we pass in hello world uh, it should pass the assertion assertion so let's save this go back to our um, console or terminal and uh, let's do uh, a recompilation 
and then do a dot out and it passes for now uh, okay let's make it fail so to make it fail of course we are gonna just remove this here just make an empty string so I'm gonna pass in an empty string go back to our terminal and recompile and it says uh, it failed because the string is empty which is what we expect All right, and so let's put this back so it's to hello world, and that should pass. And I'll go ahead and create two vectors. Uh, these vectors are going to be uh, vector, uh, that will be vector 1, v1. And I'm going to assign a couple of values here. So vector uh, is, uh, these are, is, is basically an integer vector, so we're going to assign 1, 2, 3, 4, you know, etc. I'm I'm just going to create four elements. Then I'm going to go ahead and create second vector, vector two, equal to one, two, three, um, four again, right? So the content of the vector uh, is the same. So if we compare our vector, and I'll pass it into this function called compare vector here, and um, compare vector of v1 and v2 and since it's the same it's gonna pass right so let's uh and make sure I, we, we print something here so we know that it passed so we can say c out um a a size okay and then uh, and then b size so we know that the the size are the same so we can say a equal b, right? Uh, and then let's go in. Oh, this is a comparison operator, so we make sure it's an equal operator. Let's go to our terminal, and let's do a clear, and then do a recompilation. A dot out, and we see four is equal to four, which is what we expect. Now, if you change the content, right, and let's say make one of these elements to be different. So I'm going to go ahead and change this to a uh, 5, right? And uh, you can see here uh, that, uh, uh, let's go back to our terminal and uh, go ahead and recompile and then do a.out and it still passes. Did I save? Oh, I did not save. Okay, let's save this file again. Okay, that's a... Uh, and recompile. Okay, do a.out and as you can see here, it failed, right? So, yeah, this line here. Okay, let's go back and make it pass again, right? And so just uh, by changing this element to B3, which is exactly equal that, to that vector, and we should fa um, pass. Okay, and uh, we have, um, we could compare a string if you, you want. So we can do like uh, void compare vector, but in this case, it's going to be an overloaded function. So I can say vector string a vector uh, string b, right? And I can assert um, uh, standard uh, pretty much the same thing up here, right? So I can just copy this content up here instead of retyping everything. And uh, I'll go ahead and create two of uh, the contents of um, these two vectors. So I'm going to go ahead and vector string equal v1. I'm sorry, going to be v3, right? Because we already have v1. 
equal to let's say a comma b comma c okay vector string v4 equal to a comma b comma c okay and we're going to go ahead and um, pass it to the same uh, overloaded function so v3 and v4 and of course uh, we're going to expect a result from here and it should pass so let's go back to our terminal and compile and let's do a dot l and as we expected 3 is equal to 3 and as you can see here this is working as what we expected okay now let's make it fail so I'm gonna make uh, how about make a how about switch the order so we see a b c what about if I say a c b would that fail or pass okay let's uh, recompile again and simply do that and it failed because it expects everything to line up uh, one to one right so even if you're switching the order uh, the elements they have to be in that order otherwise it's gonna fail so uh, if we put it back that should pass okay and uh, that's it for now um, and uh, I, I like to do static assert but uh, that's more uh, at compilation time uh, most of the time when we debugging uh, assertion should be d done uh, in runtime and uh, and if you really want to turn off the debug right in the production code all you need to do is put uh, define and debug which is define no debug right and then save and uh, let's go back and compile the code and make sure one of these are failing right so if I know that for a fact that this is um, uh, gonna fail uh, when we turn off the debug it should pass so let's do a clear and you can see that um, did I save it? Yep, it, it saved. And because I turn off the debug um, by using the end debug, define end debug, although the assertion has failed, it's still um, the, the, the the program did not terminate as we as what we expect. Okay, and that's all I have for this tutorial. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to Press like and subscribe to support me uh, any way you can. Thank you very much for your time.